All right, people, this is going to be the last fighter showcase for UFC 254. As you guys can see right there, we're using Habib Nurmagomedov. That man is dangerous, and he is, without a shred of a doubt, the best lightweight fighter there is. Well, this is going to be a good matchup. We're facing Conor McGregor, and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to try to ground this man and get him out of there. So, of course, Habib is facing Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje, uh, in my opinion, might be the man to actually get this thing done. Touch it. Thank you. Start things off with a leg kick. See the way this dude is like, he's like uh, sidestepping all over the place. See that? It's, it's not so easy to notice if you don't pay attention to it and he could be doing it and you're swinging and you're missing and you don't understand why you're missing and that's why you see me trying to tee off on his body right now and I will try to take him down soon but you know the one thing that Habib doesn't really shy away from doing too much is uh, his striking of course he's not the best striker in the whole entire world but um I was watching the Embedded, and he was saying something very interesting. He said he really wanted to strike with Conor McGregor in their fight. I believe it. I mean, this is a man that knocked down Conor with a uh, overhand from hell. He said he wanted to strike with Conor, but his coach, Javier Mendez, was uh, reminding him to stick with his father's plan. His father's plan of uh, pressure. When Connor thinks you're going to strike, that's when you take him down. When he thinks you're going to take him down, that's when you strike. <clears throat> and uh, of course, he executed that game plan perfectly. Ended up choking out Connor, choking out Connor McGregor on his back. Can we get to side control. Yes, we can. <clears throat> Nope. Mm -hmm. No, sir. I'm going to ground this man for a little bit. All right, got that one. He's most likely going to try to... I was going to say he was going to try to stand back up, but that was smart. Wow. I can't believe I missed that. Let's try to reverse him right away. Home. No. You know what I wish EA would bring back? The ability to transition while postured up. Like, jeez Louise, man. Why take that out? It's so ridiculous. Honestly. Like, I want to be able to pop to transition when I'm postured up. He got it. Please tell me Habib has it. Yes, he does. That is a momentum transition back to full guard if you keep going in the same exact direction that they're going. <sighs> I want to be able to transition when I am on top and postured up and also be able to transition when the... When I'm on the bottom, which actually I think we, we can do right now. But that is the one thing I still haven't figured out exactly how to do. I've postured up a few times and I've seen opponents transition while I was postured up. And I have no idea how they did that, which is, I know, very odd. Something about the game that I'm not quite sure of. But if I've got Zayaf in here or somebody, maybe you guys can tell me. Yeah, this fight is very interesting to me, dude. I have some 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 serious questions about this fight. I really do. Um, question number one: If Justin Gaethje has the bravery and the confidence to uh, to walk down Habib, you know, everyone that fights Habib, you know, they all inevitably back up. They all inev inevitably back up because they're they're so worried about getting taken down. If Justin Gaethje has the bravery to 
to not back up, you know, to just refuse to do it, regardless of what, even if, even if they're toe to toe, even if they're standing directly in front of each other. <clears throat> Sitting down right there. If he's got, oh, wow, did that head kick really just catch him as he was standing up? That's very surprising that I was able to catch him with that head kick as he was standing up. I felt like he was he was gonna be able to block that, but okay. But yeah, if Justin if Justin would you know if he if he's able to maintain forward pressure, forward aggression, let loose on Habib, you know, land uppercuts, get his jab working, land a couple of those left hooks that he's very good at. Of course, work the leg kicks. A, is Habib going to try to wrestle him in the center of the octagon? You know, a few times we've seen Habib pressured. You know, we've seen him being pressured by Connor in the center. And from what I've seen as I watch fight tape, um, especially in the UFC, of course, in you know before he before he got into the UFC, he no. Before he got into the UFC, he was a lot more diligent with... Oh my god, why do I keep letting this dude get this? Before Habib got into the UFC, in his, especially in his 1FC days, I mean... He, uh, he was a lot more diligent with wrestling in the center. But in the UFC, for some reason, he doesn't, he doesn't really do it as much. Um, if you start pressuring him from what I've seen when I watch tape, he kind of backs up. Uh, tries to strike back at you, tries to move his head, um, doesn't shoot underneath aggression like someone like GSP or Chad Mendez. This dude is done. All right. <clears throat> I'm curious if there we go. Wow, dude, that is is that some kind of a bug? Because I feel like he should be able to block that head kick. No touch. Um, yeah, if Justin just backs him up, hey, is Habib going to sh going to shoot? And if he does, if he does, I feel like it would be so much better for Justin Gaethje to to wrestle in the center as opposed to against the cage. So when I think about the strategy for this fight for Justin Gaethje and for anyone that's fighting Habib, in my opinion, the best strategy is to force him back. No matter, oh my god, this is it. And this is why I don't ground and pound. The best strategy is going to be to push, to try to push Habib back. Because, I mean, if you're going to get taken down eventually, right? You might as well get taken down in the center of the octagon. Not here. Not here, not against the cage. Boom. So, if, you, if you're pushing him back and he does shoot, which I don't think he will, but if you're pushing him back and he does shoot in the center of the octagon and he secures a takedown, at least you're in the center, you have, you have room to work, you have room to scramble, which, of course, Justin Gaethje scrambles very well, then you're not smushed against the cage and stuck against the cage. So, in my opinion, that's it. This was very straightforward. I was able to strike with this guy fairly easily. But yeah, man, I... I... I just... I, I feel like Trevor Whitman sees the same thing. I feel like that's gonna be the game plan. I feel like Justin Gaethje has the mental fortitude to, to go out there and do it. And I feel like if he does it, he can, he can get this thing done. I really believe that, but let's move on. Oh my god, dude, this is... We're facing a created fighter that looks absolutely hideous. He looks absolutely hideous. Thank you. Then again. <laughs> Stranger things have happened in MMA. Come here, buddy. On your back. That's the... 
Classic Habib style takedown. Put him against the cage, drag his ass down. Yeah, crazier things have happened in MMA. It would not be surprising if Habib runs out to the center of the octagon, throws a flying knee. Where do you think you're going? Throws a flying knee and knocks out Justin Gaethje in the first three seconds of the fight. I would not be shocked. Well, I, I would be shocked, but I wouldn't be too shocked. Because stranger things have happened in mixed martial arts. It's just, when I look at the fight on paper, that's the path to victory for Justin Gaethje. That's just what makes the most sense. I mean, I feel, oh my God. I feel like it would just be, I don't know. It would be ill-advised to do exactly what everyone else has done. Try to, try to back up and try to create space with Habib because then he's just, he's gonna eventually get you down. And once he gets you down, that's it. I feel like Justin's going to need to do some serious damage in round number one. I mean, round number one will be key. He is, he is going to need to just... <sighs> I mean, it's, of course, it's easier said than done, but... I feel like he has got to accept the fact that Habib might shoot on him in the center and put him on his back. But even if that were to happen, better to wrestle Habib in the center than against the cage. That's that's just my that's my reasoning, that's my logic. You know, it's just I mean the fighting, right? It's all about managing risk. If you're gonna get taken down either way, you might as well get taken down in a part of the octagon where you're going to have the most chance of getting back up to your feet. I just love the way this man's pants are just glowing. Like, explain the technology right there, EA. Come on, stand up. What's the technology right there? Can someone can someone logically explain to me why his pants are his I mean I just don't understand some of this, bro. I guess they added animated pants because it looks it looks cool, but I mean, what's the logic? This dude's about to get KO'd. I'm telling you guys. Ho! Ho! Now. Even that surprised me. Do me a favor, smash the like button on that one. Smash the like, smash, smash the like button on that one. Random head kick thrown at the same exact time that he's about to throw. I don't know what he was about to throw. What is that? Uh-huh, he was about to throw his own kick to the leg, boom! And the chimp, the ape, has been KO'd. Let's move on. Oh my god, this dude has a win over me. Alright. Alright. I don't even remember when I lost to this man, but... Thank you. Like, what this man just did, right, the way he just started off this fight right now, just marched forward and just teed off. It just, I know, it's, it's, uh, I just want to see someone try that. Just, just try it on Habib and see what happens. But eventually this will happen, of course. I feel like eventually that will happen. Nice. Not bad at all.
but that, but see this is this is where you know this is where dealing with Habib gets very difficult you know the moment you're trapped he has so many different setups man and I'm trying to see if I can replicate that get the hell out of here with that What? Get off me. Oh my god, man. I just, I hate... I wish the grappling wasn't about grapple advantage, about GA. I mean, you can't transition unless you gotta build. He split up. He gets me in a clinch. And he backs up. Sit down. Of course, of course, of course. You know, I think I need to amend the way that I throw ground and pound. I think the problem I'm having is I'm starting with hooks. Perhaps the best thing to do is to start with, with, a, with a cross first. Start with a cross. And then a cross, maybe cross, cross, then go for a hook. Because then he might try to slip, catch him with the hook, catch him with a hook, cross, cross, hook. As opposed to hook, cross, hook, cross, which is usually the way that I go. But yeah, man, I, I do feel like Habib is going to lose on Saturday. But um, am I going to be surprised if he goes out there and does exactly what he always does? No. It will not be a surprise one bit. <clears throat> but I think, I think Justin is the guy to get it done. I think Justin... Especially he and his coach, you know, Trevor Whitman being as... Oh, my freaking Lord. This freaking slip cross, man. Come here. This dude is good. He's very good. And I think I might have shot the bed, man. I think I've shot the bed with, with my performance in this one. I let him do a little bit too much damage. But let's see if we can fix that right now. Denied. Let's see if I can land a knee. Yes. He's probably trying to land a head kick on me. I can see it. 
I can see it. So we'll try to see if we can duck it. And and pray to God that uh pray to God got him. There we go. Rock at the end of the round right there. This dude is trying to he's trying he's trying to line up a head kick. He's trying to go for that jab cross head kick. I'm gonna see if I can duck that thing and counter him and pray to God that my 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 uh, head movement actually works and doesn't freeze up. Yeah, that's what he's trying to do. You fucking stupid. <clears throat> Shit like this just drives me. Yeah, he's trying to go for it again. Puppy, move your head. Duck. Uh huh. I'm done. Yeah, he got it. He got it. Good shit, bro. Move your. Good shit. Good fight. Good fight. Fair and square. Fair and square. Fair and square. I was a freaking idiot right there. I was a. I was a freaking idiot. I was a. Was a freaking idiot. You know exactly what he's gonna try to do, and, st and I let him get me. Let's fucking get out of here. Let's move on. Yeah, another guy with a win over me. Oh my god, dude, that last fight just freaking. Oh my god, dude, I just I hate knowing exactly what's about to happen, and I let it happen. There's no reason for him to catch me with that head kick. And then the freaking, I just, uh, I didn't grapple enough. I literally, I didn't grapple enough. We're gonna fix that. Jeez, Louise, everybody and the freaking slip, slip hook, come here. I gotta do damage. The stalling. I mean, this is how you have to play it. You can't just tee off. Yeah, got that one. Sometimes I like to fake it like that. Posture up a little bit, posture down, and then you transition. See, I like that. That head damage is slowly piling up. Slowly doing head damage. Unbelievable. No, it's believable. <laughs> oh my god these head kicks man i oh i gotta do better i have to do better i have to do better okay good round i guess
I'm ready. But I've got to do better. Got to do better, man. The last thing I want is uh, two losses in a row. But now that the matchmaking has changed and I'm running into more high-level players, I mean, this is this is very similar to what was happening in UFC 3. Oh, my God, the back lunging. <laughs> nice. Come here, buddy. Um. Not Wiley Campolamo. Not Wiley Bini Campolamo. He almost got up right there. I can't finish him here. Bro, you got GA. Come on. Ah, I was hoping he would try to stand up. Whew, that is well timed. Well timed cross to the body. Ah, oh, that one granted him. That one granted this freaking guy. Some big stamina advantages right there. Got him. Got him. Finally, the hook counter lands. That's what I'm trying to do right now. And every time they go for that slip hook, block the hook and immediately fire off my left hook. Oh. Yes. 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 Revenge. Revenge, vengeance, vengeance, got him back. <laughs> oh, boy. Got his ass back. I'm happy. Okay, let's move on. Another Alexander Volkanovsky, but I do like this matchup right here, especially because of the good points I'm about to get. See, this is good. This is good. This is the matchmaking we should have had from, from day one. Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Nice. If you don't mind, if you don't mind, brother, I appreciate. I appreciate you granting me that takedown. Thank you so much. He refused. He said no. And then he said yes. I'm trying, Herb. Where are you anyways? Where the hell are you? Are are you are you actually in the in the cage? Where is the referee? This is the this is the, the funniest thing ever, bro. The referee just disappears and you, he is nowhere to be found. If you look at the shadows on the floor as well, you don't even see hit the referee's shadow either, which just tells you he's straight up not in the octagon. He's literally not in the octagon. I mean, the camera has panned a lot of times, and he's straight up not even in here. EA, EA. You guys just remove the referee from the octagon, and you're going to put him back when, when the fight starts. Come here. I like this guy. I like this guy. He wants a gunfight. He wants a gunfight with Habib. With Habibi. Once a gunfight with Kebab. Come here.
Oh my god, he's about to get uppercutted, bro. He's trying to play this this jab body hook. Oh my god. Okay. Come on, buddy. I like it. I will not take this dude down. I like I like this game he's trying to play with me right now. I love it. Come on. Let's play it. Jab lead hook. Jab lead hook to the body. Come on, baby. I am the master. I am the master. Uh-huh. He's rocked. Sit him down. Beautiful. I love it when uh, players try to do that. I just, I love it. Just because I know, I know I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them with that uppercut eventually. <laughs> I just see it. I just see it. Throw one more lunging body hook. Go ahead. You know you want to. Up to the head. Get out of here with that. Got him. Sit him down. He says no. Please throw it. You guys see me looking for that uppercut too. Go ahead. Bro, you know you want to do it. Okay, I think... There we go. <laughs> Beautiful... <wi> <laughs> you didn't do it. Do it again, please. Please, one more time, I beg you. Got him! Wait, 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 wait. He's the one that's rocked. What the hell? Yes. Uh-huh. 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 There we go. Love it. Love it. There are a few things I am very, very, very confident with in this game, and the fact that I can counter your body shots is one of them. I've gotten quite good at that. <clears throat> I've gotten quite good at that, which is why when I'm facing really elite players like, you know, Romero or Ed Parker, you know, they gotta trick me. They gotta trick me with that. Because I am quick on that uppercut counter, bro. I don't think there's any player in the game that does that better than I do. I, I, I can say that confidently, and I don't say that often. Let's move on. Look who we are fighting again.
This dude has got two wins over me. It's time to get it back, dude. It's time to get it back. I know my mistakes in the first fight. Not in the first one. In the second fight. On this video. I know my mistakes. I gotta... There's gonna be a... <clears throat> some serious Habib smash going on right now. I'm gonna give this man the, the proper, proper Habib experience. Flight control, please. Ugh. He won't let me get backside, will he? Most likely won't. He's got all this GA too. He's probably just gonna stand up. Yeah. I don't care. I'm gonna be right in your face, bro. Right in your face. Come here. Welcome. The Khabib experience. Get your ass to the cage and put you on your back. He's looking for that head kick again. Mm-hmm. Yes. I guessed that properly. It's very difficult to deny that on reaction, but sometimes you guess right, sometimes you guess wrong. I don't care if I take this man down a hundred times or, or, or a million times. That's what I'm going to do. Look at my head health. At this point in, in the in the very first fight that I had with this dude, well not the very first, in the second fight, in the first in the fight that you guys saw earlier before this one, at this at this point of the fight, my head health was already very low. It was very low because I was striking too much with him. But if if you're using Habib and you mix in the grappling with the clinch and you and the striking and the grappling and the clinch and you're just constantly mixing everything up and you fight like Habib does. You end up taking very little damage, very minimal damage, and that's exactly what I'm gonna keep doing. I mean, look at my head health. I'm, it's, I'm good. Put him against the cage. Mm hmm. Okay, so now he's gonna constantly try to get me in a clinch. That works. That's fine. I can deal with this. And just stay in his face. There's a shot. Boom. I 
Half guard. Jeez. Side control is right there, baby. Got it. Yes. Momentum transition. Keep going in the same exact direction and the transition is sped up. Oh my fuck you, bro. Oh, every time he goes for that head kick and I try to duck it, my... My sway gets stuck. Come here. Put him against the cage. <laughs> oh my god, bro. There this got this this has got to be fixed. Please god EA. Please. 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 That combination is too dangerous for this for this to be happening in the game. Got to fix it. Yes. Yeah, he was going for the head kick right there as well, but I was too close. Come here. Can I get a takedown here, please? No. Almost. Got him. Yes. And his back. Man, you guys see this high level gameplay right here? You see this high level gameplay? <laughs> Oh, that was smart. That was brilliant. Come here. Oh, that was that was smart, bro. That was smart. You got my respect for that, bro. That you 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 that was some Yep, that was some Ed Parker shit right there. Respect. I don't know if you guys caught what he did right there, but that is how you deal with the uppercut counter, man. You fake. You fake like you're going for a body shot. You slip and you fire off a shot. I mean, that was just, that was, that was chess right there. But now he's, now he's screwed. 
<laughs> Got him. Uh, I think he might. I think he was trying to do. No, he wasn't. That that wasn't. I think I caught him while he was going for an an overhand. You see, man, he he should he should have gone for that same exact setup again because at this point it's muscle memory for me. The moment I see you leaning down to my body, the uppercut comes. And if he would have slipped, if he would have slipped, the uppercut would have missed, and he would have caught me again. Block it, boom. Oh man, he was going for the overhand. That is such an ill-advised combination to go for while you're gassed, while your fighter is so tired. But hey, man, he was going for a hail mary, and I caught him clean, and finished him. I was going to finish that dude. I swear to God, I was gonna finish that dude either way. I was gonna stop him either way. I shouldn't have lost to him in that last fight. I really shouldn't have. I just fought like a complete idiot. Anyways, that is it. We're going to move on. That is it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the fights on Saturday. Remember, fight companion, people. Come hang out with your boy. Your boy does not have any friends that watch mixed martial arts. So come hang out with your boy. We're going to chill. We're going to watch the fights together. We're going to talk about all kinds of shit. Really, really hope I can see you guys there. Remember, it is happening in the morning, 11 a.m. Eastern. Main card, 2 p.m. Eastern. See you guys there. Love you all.